in this session i'll be going to explain microwave monolithic integrated circuit or one can say monolithic microwave integrated circuit mmic which is what we are usually using in microwave circuits so i'll be explaining this mmic by following points where these are the points which is what i'll be going to cover first i'll explain basics of mmic then i will explain fabrication of mmic then i'll discuss few technologies which is what right now industries are using in mmic then we'll see one basic structure of mmic and i'll summing up this session by discussing what are the challenges which is there in designing of mmic so let us begin this session with basics of mmic so basically when we talk about mmic it is a integrated circuit it is ic which is what operating at 300 megahertz to 300 gigahertz so when we talk about mmic that is what working with the frequency 300 megahertz to 300 gigahertz typically that has been fabricated with characteristic impedance of 50 ohm the reason is when we talk about microwave circuits so typically almost all the circuits are having characteristic impedance of 50 ohm so usually when any industry is fabricating this you will be finding it's having characteristic impedance which is of 50 ohm some basic ic's are performing some basic operations by a single single mmic for example it is what performing microwave mixing power amplification low noise amplifier and it performs some high frequency operation so this ic is all about to have a performance of high frequency operations when we talk about dimensions then dimensions of mmic are very small that is what available in the scale of 1 mm square to 10 mm square mmic have done prolification of devices such as cellular devices so in that we are dealing with to transfer data from one block to other block previously people were using so many components and that is what resulting into one operation of circuit but nowadays mmics are taking over all those things where single ic is performing one single blocks performance and by having a transfer of data in between mmic device size that have decreased to large amount so nowadays so many mobiles and some small gadgets are working with mmics and that is what we are using it to have size miniaturization so this is how mmic that is what nowadays so essential in any device and probably if we talk about devices which is what working nowadays so those devices are working with rf as well as microwave frequencies only so ultimately mmic is very important to understand when we talk about integration of any device now let us discuss fabrication of mmic so i'll be actually giving brief idea about how that have been initiated fabrication of mmic that is been initiated with a material gallium arsenide and triple iv compound semiconductor material i'll discuss this later on triple iv compound semiconductor material so that was been initiated with gallium gallium arsenide material and gallium arsenide material is having two advantages over silicon technology first is transistor speed of gallium arsenide that is faster than silicon and second advantage that is it provides semi insulating substrate when we talk about mmics fabrication at that time it is very important to provide some semi insulating substrate that is what even i will discuss when i will explain you structure of mmic so it is having two advantages transistor speed and semi insulating substrate but after some time as technology have upgraded speed of silicon based technology have gradually increased and transistor feature sizes have decreased so ultimately as expansion of technology have happened we have observed so many technology have changed 
from small scale in integration to VLSI, very large scale integration, we have seen there is vast amount of upgradation of silicon based technology where transistor size have reduced and speed of transistor have increased. So nowadays one can observe there are MMIC which is what functioning based on silicon technology. So initially people were not using silicon technology because of some reason and those reasons are cost as well as dimensions but uh, nowadays it is what available based on higher speed of transistor as well as small dimensions so even in MMIC nowadays people are using silicon technology. Silicon technology has few advantages over gallium arsenide. One basic advantage is cost. So cost of silicon technology is lesser than gallium arsenide. The reason is wafer of gallium arsenide are costlier than silicon wafer. If we see the dimension of silicon wafer, so that is available with 8 inch to 12 inch and by that single wafer one can design few ICs. While when we talk about gallium arsenide wafer, so that is available with 4 inch to 6 inch and that is even costlier than silicon wafer. That's why cost that is what the major reason behind gallium arsenide that is that is not that used nowadays but initially that have been initiated with the use of gallium arsenide. So this is how uh, silicon technology have take over gallium arsenide material use in MMIC. But even it is not about completely takeover is happening. There are some ICs which is what people are fabricating with gallium arsenide and there are some ICs where people are using silicon technology and even there are few more technologies that is what we are a little bit to discuss. So let us move with next point which is what technologies used in MMIC. When we talk about original fabrication, so original fabrication of MMIC that have happened with MOSFET. MOSFET means metal semiconductor field effect transistor. So active elements that is what we are deal with to use it in MMIC. Active elements are like transistor or one can say there are some other active elements like uh, coupler and uh, diode and some active elements are used. So initially originally MMICs are using MOSFET metal semiconductor field effect transistor as active element and then after there were some changes and based on that more recently people are using high electron mobility transistor where charge carrier density is more and reverse recovery time is less and then some more elements that have introduced like pseudomorphic high <coughs> high electron mobility transistor and then heterojunction bipolar junction transistors have become common. So these are the elements which is what generally people are using in MMICs. Now some other technologies as I have told you I will be discussing that triple IV technologies. In this technology indium phosphide material is being used. So indium phosphide material that is what the major material which which is been used in triple IV, triple IV technology and it have shown to offer superior performance to gallium arsenide in terms of gain and higher cutoff frequency as well as low noise. So these are the basic advantages which is there with triple IV technology. It gives better gain, it gives higher cutoff frequency as well as it provides low noise. So these are the basic advantages which is what triple IV technology have offered but they are more expensive due to smaller size and it increased materials fragility. So because of materials fragility what happens is like these ICs are not sustaining for longer period. So ultimately triple IV technology is providing higher gain, higher cutoff frequency, low noise but they are expensive as well as their, their materials are fragile. So that becomes little expensive to use it in some application. So those applications which are high cost application where people can use this triple IV technologies but for low cost applications generally 
silicon technology as well as gallium arsenide technology have been utilized so silicon technology is low cost technology comparatively that's why this is what the majorly used technology in mmic's fabrication in gallium nitride technology generally it provides higher temperature operation and it can work at high voltage so gallium nitride even utilized in mmic where it can sustain higher temperature it can work at higher voltage that's why it makes very good power amplifier at microwave frequency so for high temperature application and for higher voltage application gallium nitride could be utilized in mmic so see these are the different sets of material and different sets of technology that has been utilized in mmic and that is how it have been progressed generally so one can say like gallium arsenide that have been initiated but silicon that have been introduced with low cost technology gradually as time progress silicon technology have taken over the mmic the reason is it is low cost as well as it is very useful in terms of cost as well as in in terms of size of wafers while when we talk about gallium arsenide it was providing better transistor speed that's why it was initiated with its integration but nowadays silicon transistors are available with higher speed so silicon technology even could be utilized in mmic for high speed operation but there are some other technologies like triple iv technology which is what providing higher gain higher cut off frequency and low noise that's why for some critical ics like low noise amplifier one can go for triple iv technologies but some applications where circuit is functioning at higher temperature like for example if i say we are having applications like satellite communication so in satellite communication when we are sending satellite to orbits so at that time one can see like there is tremendous temperature which is there in the orbit the reason is there is no such ozone layer which is what protecting infrared which is coming from sun so because of that temperature is extreme in orbit at satellite and at that temperature if you want to integrate some functioning of ics at a time there should be gallium nitride which is what providing operation at higher temperature and it can work at higher voltage even so this is how there are use of different technologies which is there in mmic now i'll be discussing one basic structure of mmic which will gives you little idea about how things are happening now almost everybody knows like when we talk about electronic circuit so that is what based on capacitor resistor transistor and diode so i am not connecting any circuit but what i am what i am showing is like see these are the elements which is what we are using it in circuits and by connecting all those elements we can make any circuit so here one basic structure this is what i am showing which is what explaining you like see how many components that we can integrate in single ic so if i say this is what single ic and if i want to show like see this is what p type substrate then one can integrate diode by having n type material like this so this two terminal that is what resulting into diode operation and if i insert two different n types of substrate over here then this will be three terminal device and that is what resulting into operation of transistor if we connect two terminals with p type substrate based on materials property this will offer somewhat resistance and by connecting two plates to material we can have a capacitance now when we talk about rf integration or microwave integration there are so many different sets of challenges which is what we are facing like when we give microwave signal this capacitor will not be a simple capacitor there will be some equivalent circuit which will happen to this capacitor there will be somewhat equivalent circuit which will happen to resistor as well as same thing that will happen to some other active elements even so it is very difficult to form rf and microwave circuit and that is very difficult to understand mmic fabrication for that one needs to have extreme amount of practice as well as work then only one can be designing mmics now
I'll be discussing few challenges over here. When we design MMIC, the basic problem which is what RF interference. Radio frequency interference will always happen. Multiple elements are integrated in a single chip and all those in multiple elements are radiating radio frequency and those are getting coupled. So mutual coupling is even a case which is happening inside of MMIC. Skin effect will happen when we talk about material which is what metal and if we give high frequency signal to metal then because of skin effect that will get radiate and signal will not pass through metal. So that will be skin effect, mutual coupling, RF interference. In terms of designing point of view, it is very critical to have electromagnetic analysis of any MMIC. So this is even required, requires to have lots of knowledge as well as lots of practice to have designing of MMIC. And the basic problem which is what people are facing which is there with backend designing of MMIC. The reason is ICs are functioning in terms of gigahertz of frequency. So it is extreme difficult to design backend designing of MMIC. Now I am not going in much detail about what is backend, de backend designing, what is electromagnetic analysis. For that you can see some more videos which is what giving detailed analysis of electromagnetic analysis as well as backend designing. Thank you so much for watching this video. By this video what I want to convey is like see people are working with microwave and that is what high cost engineering and there is lots of scope with this but it is very difficult to understand for that one needs to do extreme amount of practice and future for microwave and RF engineer is so bright. So one should think about this kind of things for their future so that they can have better life with respect to other engineering. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video then comment and subscribe to my channel. Definitely I will respond to your comments and we can have a discussion. Thank you so much for watching this video.